Institute of Technology is home to some of the world's greatest minds. MIT researchers are on the forefront of innovation, including the development of wireless transmission of power. Efficient wireless transmission of electricity has eluded scientists for years. Radio waves, microwaves, and even laser beam transmission of power have fallen short. But in 2007, MIT researchers were able to safely transmit power wirelessly seven feet across a room. A feat heralded as a first step to cutting the power cord. Incredibly, a world in which all electrical devices would be automatically powered at all times, requiring no charging or wires, was envisioned more than a century earlier by inventor Nikola Tesla. And by some accounts, he was close to actually achieving that goal. The ideas of Tesla for wireless power have only been uh, briefly investigated by various scientists. And the tests that were done by Tesla in 1899 to 1900 in Colorado Springs verified the fact that the use of wireless was actually possible. Tesla went out to Colorado Springs to see if he could send electricity miles, which is a tremendous achievement, but he had a huge tower, and there was 200 feet to the top. His assistant was located at the laboratory, and Tesla said, when I give you the signal, I want you to throw the switch and fire up the wireless system, and Tesla probably walked four miles away. Tesla inserted light bulbs into the earth to see if his tower was in fact creating a wireless circuit with the ground. If so, the bulbs would light up. These light bulbs were being lit. So he was able to establish that he could transmit electrical power over great distances. But he did keep it a secret. He even kept the mechanics a secret from his assistant who didn't totally know all the details of what he was doing. Shoreham, New York, 1901. Tesla convinces banker J.P. Morgan to give him $150,000 for the construction of a radio station. But instead, he uses the money to build a giant wireless transmitter he calls Wardenclyffe Tower. Wardenclyffe was 187 feet to the top, but it also went 120 feet down into the ground. Tesla had envisioned receiving stations which would look just like the Wardenclyffe Tower at different nodal points around the Earth. So you would jump energy by means of wireless from station to station. He even thought that he could eventually use the same system to jump power to different planets. But Tesla's dream of creating a highly efficient broadcast of wireless electricity was cut short when in 1904, its funder, J.P. Morgan, discovered Tesla's true intentions to provide free power to everyone on the planet. With lack of additional funding, by 1908, the project was completely abandoned. And in 1917, the tower was demolished. No company, no corporation wants to give away its technology freely. So Tesla was shut down so that the world wouldn't have free energy. But just how was Tesla able to transmit electricity wirelessly for several miles when modern scientists can only manage seven feet? 